up guys, it's Kyle here with Wagner to Shots and we're going to do a little shutter speed tutorial for you today. So we've got the waterfall in the background and that's going to give us a consistent rate of motion and we're going to go through and show you how your shutter speed is going to make a difference with the motion um, all the way from one one thousandth of a second all the way down to one second. So if you're shooting waterfalls or landscapes or anything with motion you're going to be able to control how much you see and we're going to go through and show you the difference between the shutter speeds and what they'll achieve for you so come along with us we'll have a look all right so we've got our spot here down at the base of the waterfall i'm going to go ahead and get set up um, with the longer shutter speeds you are going to want a tripod so when we're at one second um, you're going to need as stable as a base as you can because your hands are going to be moving around and shaking. So if you want sharp pictures, you're going to need a tripod. You're going to need some sort of stability. So we've got our tripod along with us today and that's how we're going to get motion running through the water but everything else be nice and sharp. So stick right there, follow along. I got I to gotta get set up. So we just went through and got our images here and when we throw them up on screen you're going to notice going through the metadata that our aperture is going to have to change too. So your depth of field will change as you need a longer or a shorter sh shutter speed. Um, that's why with fast lenses you know at f2.8 or you know, you know even 1.4 you're going to have be able to get really fast shutter speeds, but the depth of field is also going to be extremely narrow. So sometimes that is an effect that you want. Other times, if you're shooting landscapes like this, you're going to want to stop down f8, f16, somewhere in there. So depending on the shot that you want, you're going to have to adjust, you know, accordingly. And you're also going to notice that as we get a very fast shutter speed, our ISO is going to have to rise as well. So keep all these things into consideration. It's your exposure triangle. So you've got time and gain. And you're controlling the gain with the aperture and the ISO of the camera. And time is your shutter speed, the big thing that we're going over today. But you can definitely get some really cool results, even in bright sunlight like this, um, all the way up to a second long exposure. So if you're out shooting something like this or something with motion that's gonna give an interesting look, um, Definitely give it a try because it can open up a whole new world of possibilities for you. So we're going to go ahead and move on and show you other the other effects that you can get with shutter speed as well. See ya. All right, so we took a step back away from the waterfall to show you some of the other effects that shutter speed is going to have on your photos. So we've got the 70 to 200 on today, and if you have a longer lens, you're going to want to keep your shutter high as high as you really can. As you go through and see at one second, I'm very shaky, I'm very blurry, the photos are completely unusable. However, you can raise your shutter speed and still get usable images. We shot all the way up to one eight thousandth of a second. So almost no matter how shaky you are with your camera, you're still going to be able to get sharp shots. So we can go through and show those all to you, but Another thing that's going to help you as well is if you get a stabilized lens. So a lens that has IS, VR, IOS, there's all kinds of different acronyms for them, but what they do is they stabilize your image for you. So I have it on here, but I haven't used it just to go through and show you the difference that the shutter speeds play when you're taking your images. So we'll, we'll move on a little bit, but otherwise you can see how big of a difference your shutter speed is going to have on your images. All right, so we went through and showed you the difference that shutter speed is going to have on your images. We did it at the waterfall so you could see the way that that water moves. At one second, you're going to have nice blurred going through your image. Up at one one thousandth of a second, you have a drop frozen in midair. So depending on the kind of image that you're looking for, use your shutter speed to get the desired effect. And also, with your longer lenses, you're gonna to wanna to keep your shutter speed up and keep that stability there because otherwise you're gonna have shaky images. But otherwise, I think that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed yourself. 
We're gonna get out of here. All right, Kyle and Tyler here with Wagner Does Shots. Thanks a lot for coming along with us today. I hope you learned a few things about your shutter speed and how it's gonna affect your images. So if you like this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share, because that really does help us out and get in other people in on the conversation. So along with that, what do you think? I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm actually going camping next week, so the lesson I learned, I'm gonna actually uh, use that feature on a water fountain that's actually at the campground. So oh, cool, yeah. So that'll be something fun to share off of Wagner Dutch Shots page. Yeah. So that'd be cool. But this this lesson, I'm gonna use it when I go camping next week. So excellent. I'm excited to use it. And any other questions that you guys have, feel free to leave a comment and ask us because we do see and read all the comments and we tr we do respond to everybody that's out there asking questions or giving us feedback. So if there's something you want us to do, send us a line. We'll go ahead and do it because the things that we do are for other people to learn. And that's a big part of what we're able to do here. So ask your questions. It's, it's you know, kind of our lifeblood. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's, it's like, always fun for yeah, us too. So. Like the video, comment, leave a comment below and the video off of Facebook or YouTube, wherever this can be. Right. And share the video. So thanks for joining. Thanks for the lesson too. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy. See ya. This, uh, it's one of the reasons I can't just let this guy go. There's a little bit of magic about it, I tell you. Yep. Make something happen ah. for you. Bug, but, sorry. Yeah, again. Stay tuned for more. Ta da. Watch here. Ah! Man, that's such a. We've got more content coming for you. Um, nah, fuck it. <laughs>